Nothing about you is typical Nothing about you is predictable You got me all twisted and confused It's Nothing about you is typical Nothing about you is predictable Hey, what's up YouTube? I am back. Um, I'm in my kitchen right now, so I hope you guys can see me good enough. Um, it's hot as hell in my bedroom, so I'm in the kitchen right now. But um, this is actually going to be a tag video. I was tagged by my girl Karen. Um, her YouTube username is Amir Trini, and thank you for tagging me, girl. Also getting around to doing all of my tags and um, all of my requests. So if you have left me a request, I am going to get around to it. I know I take forever, but um, don't be afraid. Keep on leaving them. Um, I take forever to do them, and I'm working on that, but I will get them done. So, um, okay, my first blush that I'm, like, in love with is going to be X Rocks. And this is blush right here. Pretty, pretty pink, like, shimmery kind of raspberry color. The one with the major um, <laughs> dent in it. And it came out with the Neo Sci-Fi collection. I'm not going to swatch it just because um, the lighting in here isn't that good, but I love that blush. Um, it's amazing, banging, whatever. I'll have, um, swatches on my blog, so check that out if you want to see, like, you know, the exact, um, colors of it. And my next one is going to be Merrily Blush. And this is a mineralized blush, and when it first came out, this is probably the only blush that I wore. So that's what it looks like. Very, very pretty. Um, it's not really much of a raspberry color. It's kind of on the edge of a raspberry color, but it's kind of like a reddish color with gold undertones, and it is just gorgeous. I love it. So, that's that. Then, I would have to say my next one is going to be Copper Tone, and this is a matte, and I absolutely love this blush because you can wear it on an everyday basis, and it's great for women of color because it gives that kind of tint like you have on blush, but then it's kind of like very natural, and it just looks amazing. So that's how it looks. It's kind of like an orangey um, kind of color, but it looks great, and it's matte, so it's not, you know, too overpowering, too shimmery, and my mom actually told me about this one, and I love it. So that's a fave. Um, the next one is going to be Format, and it's a frost. I'm like all over the place with these blushes and the formulations and whatnot. But it looks like that. Um, it looks brown in the pan, but it's actually not brown. It's kind of like a burnt kind of rose color, and it has gold undertones. And it's so beautiful because once you put it on, your skin really looks just sun-kissed and amazing. I love it. So that's that one. Love it, love it, love it. My next one is going to be um, by Cargo. Bam. And um, it's in Rome. Mm, hope you guys can see that. Rome, R-O-M-E. And this is the color of it. Love it, love it, love it. It's basically kind of like a pinkish tangerine color with... Um, it, it's a coral color. There you go. Um, and Cargo blushes are amazing. I'll swatch this one, actually. So that's how it looks, that pink one right there. And I love this color. It's perfect for the summer, spring, whatever. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then my last and final one is going to be by NARS. You know I have to throw NARS in there. Um, and this one is in Crazed. And this one I use with my feather brush because the color is so overpowering. And this is a rich raspberry color with... Um, it kind of looks like it has silver and gold sparkles in it, but I'm not too sure. But I love it, and it's so pigmented. You guys, um, if you ever tried a NARS blush, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I think they're they're famous for their blushes. Um, that's my favorite thing. Favorite thing from their line are their blushes. So that's what it looks like. Um, so yeah, thanks again, um, girl, for tagging me. It was really fun, and yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Mwah. Bye.